Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to tell you something that will probably be censored here on YouTube, but a new outbreak of a new form of scarlet fever. It seems to have started um, sometime around 2011, once again in China. Somehow, scarlet fever is making a comeback thanks to a toxic virus researcher from Queensland's are saying this mutation with the bacteria responsible for scarlet fever is making a comeback supercharged by a toxic virus that is making it more virulent science alert also had a twitter post saying a st historical epidemic has been making a scary comeback due to a bacterial clone from there, in 2011, in China, it moved to Europe. Historically, septic complications such as brain abscess, meningitis, lung abscess, pneumonia, bone infection, middle ear, and soft tissue infections could follow scarlet fever and cause early death. I heard, too, it affects the heart. There was another Twitter post from Lotus Oak. It says, please note there is no vaccination for scarlet fever. Still, the biggest killer of the 19th century had particularly gone, or was particularly gone by the 1940s. After the outbreak of this new form of scarlet fever in Asia, China, in 2011, the global reach of the pandemic became evident, with reports of a second outbreak in the UK beginning in 2014. And now they discovered the outbreak is in Australia. And that came from the University of Queensland molecular biologist Stephen Brower. This global reemergence of scarlet fever has caused more than a five fold increase in the disease rate in more than 600,000 cases around the world. I'm sure there's more than that. One of my followers here on Twitter. Uh, sent me a message saying that two years ago, one of their family members caught this virus. Also, I found information that says among them was a kind of a super antigen that appears to give the bacteria invaders a clever new way to gain access into the insides of the host cell, one never seen before among bacteria. So is this another tweaking of the old an old bacteria from Asia? Don't that sound a little familiar? Now, other information I found it is different than other or the original form of scarlet fever. This virus spreads through aerosols, much like SARS and COVID. It says here, Group A strep is unlikely to become an epidemic under current restrictions. More information I found said that Professor Walker said they started looking into the Streptococcus pyogenes, sorry for the mispronouncing of these words, after an outbreak in Asia in 2011 and then in the UK in 2014. And I give a link here from an article I found in 2017. It says Asia also experienced a rapid increase in cases of scarlet fever. Hong Kong has seen a dramatic spike in cases with 10 times the incidence compared to previous years. Similar, and in some cases, even larger surges of scarlet fever have been reported in recent years in South Korea, Vietnam, China, and Hong Kong. Hong Kong, which saw a tenfold rise in cases, continues to report increased annual counts five years after the resurgence. And then I found a research paper talking about this outbreak in China, Hong Kong and mainland China from 2011. Several factors have been proposed to play a role in triggering these outbreaks, including changing bacterial population structure, enhanced capacity of GAS to cause scarlet fever through gene acquisition, changes in, in host inherited immunity, etc. Somehow, either through some scientist playing God, but there was definitely a mutation that's never been seen before once again of another 
uh, bacteria or virus that we thought was no longer a threat. And on this same paper, they have a map of the outbreaks, 2011, 2012, 13, and 14. Notice that Wuhan, that scientific lab, is close to this location of the outbreak once again. On that same paper, it says, furthermore, a report indicated that EMM12 geotype strains were gradually replaced by EMM1 geotype strains in Beijing in 2014. Consequently, the expansion of EMM clones resulted in little or no population immunity to the new strains. The Lancet had a paper. It says, consistent with this hypothesis, the diversity of EMM clones was shown to increase in, to, in China after 2011, whereas seven geotypes and 27 subtypes associated with scarlet fever were isolated in Beijing in 2011 and 2014. And as I tweeted, this really makes me mad, like the virus that causes COVID-19. Depicopolis, uh, the bacteria, are usually spread by people coughing or sneezing with symptoms including a sore throat, fever, headache, swollen lymphoids, and a characteristic scarlet-colored red rash. So what are your thoughts about this? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.